Recently, the New York Times reported over 250 cases of the coronavirus could be traced directly back to parties held at fraternities, sororities, and off-campus parties. Now, the members of the fraternities and sororities and all the colleges and universities, well, most of the students are dominated by Generation Z. This is a generation born after 1997. They are the youngest generation in the workforce. They account for 25% of the population. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Megan, why are you picking on the fraternities and sororities? Well, I'll be honest with you. Everything I know about Greek life, I learned from the 1978 film, Animal House, starring John Belushi. My parents went to take me to see it. We went to a drive-in. I was eight years old. What can I tell you? It was the 70s. All these reports in the news lately about the younger generation not social distancing and behaving poorly during this healthcare crisis may leave the impression the younger generation, Generation Z, does not care about COVID-19 and spreading it to others. But research shows that Generation Z does care about COVID-19 and how it is impacting them and their family members. According to Morning Consult, Generation Z views the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement as the two most impactful events in their lifetime. Every generation is impacted by generational signposts, events that shape a generation. And there's no bones about it. The coronavirus is definitely shaping Generation Z. Now, hey, every generation's been impacted by this virus. But the difference is Generation Z, the youngest generation in the workforce, they're going to be impacted by it, living with the effects of it much longer than the traditional generation, baby boomers, Gen Xers, or millennials. According to Gen Z Identity Lab, 57% of Gen Z reported that if infected, they were willing to share their location through the use of apps to help track the disease and prevent it from spreading. This was the highest set of all the generations when asked this question. Also, in the same study, it reported that Generation Z was taking actions to be careful during the pandemic, not just to protect themselves, but also to protect their loved ones. And my favorite news, according to Business Wire, 60% of Gen Z report wearing a face mask at all times while in public, followed closely by millennials at 55%. So while the virus has forced Generation Z, just like it's done to all of us, to delay plans, postpone travel, and miss out on some of life's big moments, not all of Generation Z is going out to party. In fact, mo many of them, most of them, and all the ones I know, are doing some incredible things to lift us up during this unprecedented time. Zoomers to boomers. This began in Los Angeles, California after the pandemic. Teenagers shop for elderly people or people who have compromised immune systems and it's not safe for them to shop for themselves. This Zoomers to Boomers has now spread to several states across the country. Generation Tech, or Gen Tech, a Gen Z volunteer group helping senior citizens fight social isolation through the use of technology during this crisis. Remember, baby boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, Gen Z. Out of all of us, Generation Z is going to live with the fallout from the pandemic the longest. And it's going to be interesting to watch them shape the new world. My name is Megan Johnson. I look forward to seeing you next week when we talk about the multiple generations and explore the ways we can communicate and connect across generational lines. Have a terrific, safe, healthy, happy week. Bye.